Hey guys, and happy Tuesday. So I wanted to hop on, and I know it's been a really long time, and I apologize. Um, took some uh, downtime, unplugged, celebrated my sister and I's big birthdays this year, and uh, had a little trip. So I'm back. Um, I received this before I went away on our trip. However, I just did not have the opportunity to film. And so I said to myself, does anybody really care now? It's kind of too late. Um, but if you don't know what this is, <laughs> this is my Teddy B February pre-order haul. So I did, I was on the beach on Saturday. I did hop in for a few things for her RTS, um, but I did sniff like a few quick things prior to me getting on an airplane but I didn't do like a thorough smell. So I figured let's take the time to do that here. Um, I did not go crazy. Um, <laughs> Christmas time, I went a little insane. Um, I spent way too much money, hundreds of dollars, which is very easy to do because Tiffany's wax blends are just absolutely amazing. But I said to myself, I can't do that. Plus, I don't have time. Like, I'm not roaming through that much. And also, I don't have space. <laughs> so anyway, let's just dive right in. Um, this is Tiffany's thank you card. So um, it's really cute. She talks about all her social media platforms um, and then what, you know, how much to warm, um, cure time, things like that. So I usually dive right into her wax because a lot of the things are poured within the time that she has shipped. So i.e. here it says, oh, cure for two weeks past the date. Most of the time it's a month or two. Um, I know a lot of people wait a year for Teddy Bees to cure, if not longer. Her wax does last. However, I like to just dive right in. Um, I feel like life's too short. I'm going to enjoy it. So that's just her recommendation um, and also how much to use. I usually go a little more than an ounce uh, because especially her lighter bakery blends just tend to do better um, in my home with that amount. All right. So let's get, I'm going to throw this on the floor. I should have probably cleaned out all the peanuts before. Let me get my trash can. I'll just temporarily throw it in there. It's going to make a mess. Um, all right. So I, I went crazy, but not too crazy. I didn't get any lobes. I just don't have the space for lobes. Um, I got a few tubs and I mainly got souffles cause my, my thought process is I will get them in a souffle and if I smell them and I like them on cold, then I'll go back in for a bigger size. So I kind of keep to that method when I shop. I know a lot of people don't, but that's just my thing. So let me start with the first one that I do remember smelling and loved and I think I got a tub in it in the RTS. Um, and that is Harold Fine here. So this one is warm chestnut, smoky wood, sweet vanilla, by the fireplace type, cashmere cedar, and frosted sugar cookies. Now, I went in for a tub because I love by the fireplace. Look how beautiful that is. Um, I love by the fireplace type. I love the cologne perfume. And that's just it. You get the bar by the fireplace type. You get a hint of that cashmere cedar. It's not super strong because I don't like cedar and wax. Um, and then you get the frosted sugar cookie. This is like smashed. I don't even know if I can pop it out. Come on. Yeah, and on the bottom, you get more of that cashmere cedar, almost kind of like her famous cashmere cream. So you get that cashmere cream kind of smell or cashmere cedar with a hint of the cookies. Um, so this one is really, really good. I just went in and got a tub. I, I was like, I don't really need a loaf. Um, but on cold, I just smushed it. I hate when I smush bags. On cold, this smells amazing. So I did pick it up another tub in that. So really happy to have that. 
All right, the next one I got, and I think I got a tub in this one in the RTS too. This is Tiff's favorite birthday cake, strawberry cow cake. That's Tiff's favorite lavender blended with white cake and buttercream layered with her strawberry pound cake. God, right off the bat, you get her strawberry pound cake. I know they fall out, so really pretty pink glitter. And on the bottom, it's that creamy, sweet lavender. That is good. So you get a lavender full on the bottom, which is funny considering that should probably be the strawberry pound cake unless she purposely switches it. Um, and then on that top, you just get that really, she has a really good strawberry pound cake. That is going to be good. So I think I might even dive into that one fast. So that is Tiff's favorite birthday cake. But again, you have to like sweet lavender and you have to like strawberry pound cake. I wanted to get that blend, which I do. I like both of those things. Um, now I didn't get it any more of this. Uh, I did get this in a D stash. Someone was selling it within a tub and I picked it up for summer. I didn't keep it because I knew I was getting this souffle. This is the Dor Dornishman's wife. This is Palo Santo blackberries, marshmallow fireside with the slightest hint of lemon. Now, when I smelt that, okay. So right off the bat, I was like glitter on my nose. You get Palo Santo, right on cold and marshmallow fireside. I don't know why my tins are so smushed. This was packaged really well. And then on the bottom, you get like a really, really creamy marshmallow fireside. I don't even get any like lemon. I don't, maybe it comes out on cold. Very light blackberry too. So don't let that blackberry scare you. See, that's why I was been holding it. Now it's all over my keys. But look how pretty that is. <laughs> No, I'm not going to get back in. First, I didn't want to come out. <laughs> I don't want to get back in. Now I have purple wax full on my keyboard. So that is the Dor Dornishman's Wife. And again, you really have to like Palo Santo because it's heavy on the Palo Santo. It's very creamy with that marshmallow fireside. I don't get any lemon on cold. And I don't really get much blackberry either. I mean, unless it's there. Look at how bad this skin is. Like, it's smushed. All right, this one I got just a souffle. It was all the rave. It kept selling out in her its pre-order and then in her RTS. I think she offered this twice last year, actually. This is the Whip Staff Manor. This is crisp fall air, cedar, wood, crunchy leaves, hints of apples, and fall spice, toasted marshmallows, and charred pumpkin. So I do like pumpkin scents. I'm going to try to move this. But I don't really like... Hopefully it doesn't kill my draw. But I don't really like a lot of pumpkin, like a charred pumpkin. I like a sweet pumpkin. So this you get like that crisp cedar wood with the leaves. You get a hint of apple, not super, not super strong. You do get that fall spice. That toasted marshmallow note is super, like, it's really there with that fire, like a fireside. Like, maybe that's a fall spice and the pumpkin. This is really pretty. Look at how smushed that is. Really, really smushed. I don't even know if I want to try to get this out. It might get wax everywhere. I'm not going to try to take this one out because it's really smushed. But, yeah, you really have to like those crisp, fall, crunchy leaves, spicy... Um, it's not overly spicy because I don't like spice. It's just a hint. It kind of like evens it all out with that crisp fall air. Um, it's nice. Not my thing for right now. This will definitely be good for, you know, September, October when we're starting to get cold here. I mean, we're cold here now. Like these weather days are just mind boggling. I'll put them here. Just totally mind boggling. All right, the next one I got, and I know I picked up, I think another tub of this was Laid on the Beach and Strawberry Bum Bum, and I love her Laid on the Beach. I already have a tub of it, and I already went through a souffle. I think I sent some souffle for Chris to try uh, and liked it. This is a blend of beach treats, marshmallow clouds, with layered with strawberry pound cake, Bath and Body Works type, and creme de bum bum, or bum bum cream type. 
And see, this was poured in March. So like, I'll warm this now. Like I, I, it's definitely late on the beach. You get her beach treats and marshmallow clouds. Let's smell the bottom smells like. Oh, look at how bad that came out. Come on. I'm already 10 minutes in. Try to make this fast. Oh, look at how pretty that is. Yeah, so you definitely get the bum bum cream. I'm actually wearing it right now, so it's spot on. Yeah, that is super good. I'm so glad I picked up more of that. Look at how pretty that is, too. Turquoise. It looks like, you know, fun beach color. Oh, that's good. I'm, I'm glad. I think I picked up a tub. I didn't go too crazy. That one is really good, though. Really, really like that one. All right. The next one I picked up is Cabin in the Woods. This is fir needles, smoked woods, marshmallow fireside, cedar wood, sandalwood, and minty snow. So... This one I was kind of on the fence about. I didn't know if I wanted this one or if I wanted Anthony's cabin. And now listening to everyone's hauls, I wish I got Anthony's cabin. <laughs> Whatever. So that's cabin in the woods. Couldn't get everything. Yeah. So right off the bat, you definitely have to like fur needles because that's what I get. Like fur tree smoky like very smoky like not light like with staff manor the cedar woods there on cold i i do not get any snow or mint i don't even get anything on the bottom this just reminds me of cedar cedar wood and smoky fir needles what does this remind me of it almost kind of smells like icicles and evergreen by Sensi. Or what the heck is the other one? Sweet evergreen and something. I don't know. I'm just getting a lot of tree. <laughs> and I'm not I'm not a tree person. Um, I don't know. This might be going to someone whoever wants it. Um, it's just not my vibe. Um, but I wanted to try to branch out with that smoky woods and the marshmallow fireside. So it's definitely a smoky, woodsy blend. I mean, it says cabin in the woods, I know. But maybe not in my wheelhouse. <laughs> um, all right, this one I was really excited for. This is Princess Katia. This is vanilla birch, beech treats, Moroccan rose, and fireside marshmallows. Oh my God, that is just stunning. Like beautiful pink. All right, this is really, really good. So on cold, you get the beach treats. You get vanilla birch. The Moroccan rose kind of gives it a different appeal. It's not very floral. Like the floral's there, but it's not heavy floral. Like it's not like a fresh rose. It's kind of like a perfumey rose. And that marshmallow fireside is there. Yeah, I wish I picked up more of this one. This is very perfumey, like really romantic. Now I won't be able to get back in. Very romantic, very perfumey. Um, kind of reminds me of something that I have, though. It smells like something else. It's not Ember of Normandy. Maybe it's Valkyrie. Does Valkyrie have beach treats in it? I don't know. It smells like something similar that I've smelled before, but from some other vendor or something. That one is really good, though. I wish I picked up more of that, but I'll just have to do with the souffle. Another one that she added, and I always wanted to try, and I think this one I liked more when I quickly sniffed it than Cabin in the Woods. This is the North. This is Vanilla Balsam type, Palo Santo, Marshmallow Fireside type, and a hint of smoldering firewood. Okay, so this is definitely vanilla balsam. Um, Palo Santo, 
it's there, very light. The vanilla balsam and the smoldering firewood really take over this blend. Oh, let me show you. Really put pretty brown wax with black. Yeah, I like it better than Cabin in the Woods, but I'm not going to say it's a love. I will try this one closer to the holidays, but it's... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I do tree blends when I know I don't like trees. Okay, this one I was another excitement for, for excited for first of her name. This is whipped vanilla, citrus infused cream, white blossoms, decadent lemon cakes, candied lime, and vanilla sugar. Now I know I was watching Alexis and she said, Oh, this smells like very citrus candied. This is very different. This is definitely a citrus perfumey. That decadent lemon cakes there. It almost kind of smells like cocoa lime from Scentsy with like a lemon cake. I don't get much vanilla. Oh my God, look at how pretty that is. It is like stunning. I get some kind of vanilla or maybe it's the blossoms. Like there's floral in this, very light. It's not heavy. Very perfumey. This is really good. This almost kind of reminds me of like a lemon ices that you're kind of eating when you're a kid. Like with perfume. <laughs> and you're wearing like a decadent perfume. That's really good. I think this was still available on her site in Souffles. Not yesterday, but the day before that. But I couldn't remember if I liked it or not. I mean, this is enough for me. I don't need any more. I know, like, it's definitely pretty, but I don't know if it's like, oh, my God, I have to have more. All right, I'm really glad I got this. At first, I wasn't going to get this one because I was like, yeah, like, do I really want it? Um, this is I Heart Vanilla because I don't like I Heart Apples. Um, this is creamy vanilla marshmallow, vanilla milkshake, Borwork marshmallow, and it says juicy blackberry, but there's no blackberry in it. Yeah, and this is just her I Heart Vanilla blend. So you like have to like bar Borwork marshmallow, vanilla. I don't know what that is. Like if it's vanilla, it smells like a vanilla cake almost. So almost, I'm kind of getting like a zucchini bread vibe. There's no zucchini bread in this though. Maybe it's a vanilla milkshake. I don't know. It's good. It's definitely a pretty vanilla. Um, I feel like you can warm it anywhere. It's probably going to be super light. But I'm glad I picked that up in a souffle. At first I was like, oh, I'll get a tub and I can blend it. And I was like, well, let me see if I like it first. Anyway, this one I originally had in a tub, and I I'm still was nervous of a particular scent note. So it's the infamous hot pie. And this is Palo Santo, sugar donuts, hint of chai, and a dash of pink chiffon. These are smushed. Pretty gray. So right off the bat... Her Palo Santo is amazing. I do get a sugar donut. It's almost like Alexis said, it's kind of like bakery perfumey, if that's even a thing, but it is. Because that pink chiffon is giving it like a body care blend into it. Yeah, the chai is there. Yeah, I can't pop this out. It is in there. See how smushed it is? The chai is there. But yeah, I, I probably would have picked up more I don't, I didn't remember smelling this on the RTS, um, when I went to into the RTS, but eh, uh, a souffle will just have to do. So that's not bad. Um, I probably would have picked up another souffle or a tub. Eh. This one is next is lavender cream. And this is lavender marshmallows, vanilla sugar waffle cone. Ooh. That is really good. Really, really pretty. Purple. So this is giving me um, lavender, creamy vibes. I've smelled something similar to this before. What vendor has lavender? Is it 
like this. No, well, that's lavender. Um, I like it though. Um, maybe it's Salt Mountain Milk's Lavender Flurries that I'm thinking of. This one's good though. It's definitely creamier. Um, it's definitely lavender cream. I like it. Um, all right, then I got, let me see if I can do these together. Um, I know I got two. Here they are. So I couldn't decide. So I got both. I got Key Lime Sugar Cookies and Key West Lime Ice Cream Cake. And I think in watching everyone, I think everyone likes Key Lime Sugar Cookies the best. And I think I do too. So first we'll start off with Key Lime Key West Lime Ice Cream Cake. This is Key Lime's Florida Blended with Vanilla Ice Cream Cake Cream, Toasty Graham Crackers, Rich White Cake, and Salty Sea Air. Now I was on the phone about fence about this one because I typically don't like white cake, but I do like Salty Sea Air. Yeah, and so this one, you get like a white cake note, you get the, you get a tart lime, you get that graham cracker or something toasty, and there is actually a smell of salty Sierra in here, almost kind of like similar to her Sadie. Yeah, and on that bottom, you get more of her graham cracker. It almost kind of smells similar to second and spruce cream lime pie. Let me see. Yeah, that is funny. This one smells similar to key lime pie. This one has like a lot more of that salty sea air kind of giving it like a body care is bakery so it's not bad you do get a lot of like a graham cracker note or something um to change it from just being bakery and lime it's not bad it's we'll see what this one smells like and this one is key lime sugar cookies sweet sugar buttery shortbread buttercream frosting vanilla sugar cookie dough and tart key limes Yeah, so actually this one is more tart, but sweet at the same time. And maybe that's because of the sweet sugar and the buttery shortbread. Let me tell you, Tiffany does a shortbread that is spot on. I love her sweetheart cookies I have right here. It is so good. It's like buttery shortbread, just like her teddy bear biscuits. Those are two blends that are so amazing. If she ever offers them, you have to try them. Yeah, so I think that's the sweet sugar, the buttery um, shortbread, the buttercream frosting, and... It's a tart key lime. It definitely is, but very sweet because of all the other things. So yeah, I definitely like key lime sugar cookies better. And I couldn't remember when I went in, so I don't think I picked up any more, which is fine because I also remembered that I have a lot of uh, lime already. Okay. Then I got cozy cookie cake and balsam, vanilla balsam, Fraser fir blended with cozy cookie cake and cozy cozy cookie cake is one of my favorite blends it is white cake beach treats marshmallow fireside and sugar signature sugar cookies yeah and that's this this one smells really good so again you get that cozy cookie cookie cake man i can speak well and the vanilla balsam Yeah. It almost smells similar to Christmas cookies from, I don't know if I have it over here. Uh, yep. And, the, and this one is fine. Yeah, it smells similar to Christmas cookies. There's a hint of that vanilla balsam. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's there, but that cozy cookie cake really makes it creamy. I think I'm going to really, oh, actually I take that back. This smells similar to Christmas trees and cream. I was wondering, I'm like, it smells something similar, like a mixture of even Christmas cookies and Christmas trees and cream. Say that a couple times fast. All right. This one really intrigued me. This is Oracle of Dusk. This is black raspberry, bergamot, velvet rose, midnight jasmine, patchouli, and precious woods. Now, the patchouli kind of scared me along with the velvet rose, but I was like, let's try it. And this is very perfumey. Like, you definitely get a creamy, creamy black raspberry, bergamot. You get the rose, the jasmine's there. 
Look at how pretty that is. Blue with purple. Oh my God, that is beautiful. I'm not gonna be able to pop it out. I mean, if the patchouli is there, it's very light. Um, it's there, but it's not, like that is a very nice, beautiful bedroom bathroom blend. Now I can see why everyone goes crazy over that one. All right, I am 25 minutes in. Do not feel bad. All right, Winterfell. I know everyone compares this one to Carter. I do have Carter, or I did. I put it away. This is Marshmallow, Fireside, Palo Santo, White Birch, Icy Snow, and Vanilla. Yeah, and it smells similar to Carter. This one I get more White Birch on cold than I do... Um, Carter, you get more of that icy snow and mint. I mean, they are similar, but this one is a little more like white birch and snow. I'm glad I just got a souffle though, because it's not my vibe. And I figured I already had, I think I have two souffles of Carter. I think, I don't even know anymore. I definitely have to do an inventory. Um, all right. And I got that one over Pacific Northwest. Because I know Alexis talks about Pacific Northwest all the time, as, along with Lexi from Two Quick Wicks. And I was like, you know what? I I need to not try everything. <laughs> um, this is Witches Be Crazy for Beach Treats. I love her Beach Treats. I love Surfside Sweet Shop. This is just her Beach Treats uh, with with Witches Be Crazy with her Beach Treats. Say that a times fast. Now, I do know that I went in and I got a tub, I think, from this. Because her witches be trait crazy. At first, I didn't like and everybody was throwing stones. <laughs> but now I do like it. And I do like her beach shades. Look at that. Literally looks like where I just was. The sand. Oh, this is so good. I'm so glad. I don't know if I want to pop it out. Oh, my God. You just get more of a creamy witches be crazy on the bottom. I'm so excited for that one. I might warm that one first. All right. And then a repeat purchase. I have two other souffles. This one is super good. Sugar, chestnuts, and apple butter. Apple butter, brown sugar, toasted chestnuts, cloves, and notes of spice. And I typically don't like things that are heavy cloves, but this is just such a good performer in my home. Look at that. So, yeah, this gives me um, kind of... Uh, Apple and cinnamon sticks from Scentsy um, with that like sweet frosting. I think Alexa said apple butter frosting and it smells similar to that in Scentsy, but also apple apples and cinnamon sticks because of more of that clove. Yeah, it's good. It is perfect for the fall winter time. I mean, technically, if you want these things in chestnuts now, you could, but this is just such a good performer. I think I have a souffle chopped up here. All right, and then the last souffle I have here is Fireside S'mores. This was, I don't know why, like I needed more bakery. This is toasted marshmallows, warm grant crackers, whipped vanilla, and Fireside. So I, I like her sugar spice and Fireside. So I wanted to see if this was similar. Yeah, that one's going to pop right out. This one, you definitely get a toasted marshmallow and the Fireside's there. So I think this is kind of like her take on that but you get more of a graham cracker bakery note. Yeah, this is good. I think I picked up marshmallow something, malted marshmallow cookies, a souffle I think I picked up because everyone was saying it was good. Um, so I think that's what I picked up. I didn't get any more of this one though. Okay. And then I got just two tubs. Um... And the first one I got, everyone's going to be like, Christine, what? Um, is pistachio bread pudding. So uh, if you know me by now, I'm not a pistachio kind of girl. But these notes, the glazed donuts, the cream soaked bread, the brown sugar. I was like, that is my, like, I love bread pudding. So yes, that's what you get. You get the bread pudding. Look at how pretty that is. Is this going to pop right out? It might. Nope. Yeah. So you truly get all those things. And the toasted pistachio is there. And it's just, it's not super strong. 
So like, don't let the pistachio scare you. You definitely get a lot of the donut and that cream soaked bread. I mean, she is, for some reason, my camera shut off after 30 minutes. Uh, I don't know if that's a computer thing, but I never have any problems on my phone. So anyway, I have one more thing to film and then the sample. The last tub I have here is summer circus cookies, and this is strawberry pound cake blended with frosted lemon circus cookies. So I got a tub of that because I do like lemon bakery and strawberry pound cake. Look how pretty that is. Yeah, and that's just it. It's a very perfumey strawberry pound cake though, or vanilla buttercream. That's like a good glitter all over my nose. Look how pretty that is on the bottom. It's not popping out. Yeah, I really like that. I can't remember if I got another one of these, to be honest, but I'm really glad I got a tub of that. And then last but not least, my sample is blushed. Now, originally I was going to get a souffle of this, but then listening to everybody's reviews, I was like, I don't really like strong peach. And this is really nice. It's very body care -esque. I know it has peach flesh in it, and it's very perfumey. I don't know if I can pop this out. I can't remember what's in there. I mean, it's really good. You definitely have to like peach. But it's very creamy and body care-esque. So I'm eager to try the sample. I'm glad I did not get a souffle, and I'm glad that of all the things, I got the sample. So, of this one. Yeah, it's like peachy. Yeah, so... Anyway, that is my February 2024 Teddy Bees pre-order haul, and you'll have to see what I got in the RTS whenever it ships, but I didn't go crazy. Like I said, I got a few of my favorites that I had initially smelt on cold, and so just wanted to share that with you. So thank you so much for watching today, and I apologize again for being MIA. Um, I will be talking about the giveaway, so thank you again for the subscribers and hitting 500. I think I'm at like 520 now, the last time I checked. Again, been um, disconnected from media. So thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful rest of your evening. Talk to you soon. Catch you on the next one.